I've done my Molly Pecan show also in Montana. I've done it in uh, Salt Lake City, and I just recently did it in, uh, in Michigan. And in Michigan, the audience applauded so much that without even thinking about it, I went up to the mic and I said, I look for all of you everywhere, and whenever I find you, I'm home. And it's true. So you do. So for the Molly Pecan show, you, you do the narration in English. English. But you sing the songs in Yiddish. Yiddish. With, with, and do you translate for the audiences, or you just? I tell them the story of the song. Um, most of the most all the songs are love songs. You know, it's not so difficult to understand. Uh, at one point, she's sad she doesn't have the guy. At another point, she's happy she does have the guy. It's always that kind of thing. And I also say to the audience that. While we all may speak different languages, we're all human beings that feel the same and express ourselves in different ways. But it's all the same. My audiences are wonderful. Um, I've often said to people that a Yiddish audience is different from an American audience because uh, it's a community event. It's not just a show that you go to, you applaud, you applaud, and leave. No. Um, I even say to my audience, by the time you leave here, you'll all know each other. It's 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 a reunion. What's it like doing a show, like the Molly Pecan show, in like Salt Lake City or Montana, places where you don't usually expect to, to see a, a sizable Jewish presence? Well, when I did it in Montana, for example, Missoula, Montana. Um, Missoula has a university. In fact, I was taking a course there in the summertime. And uh, so a lot of the professors came, a lot of people who work at the university, and there is uh, a couple of hospitals there. So we had a, a crowd, and it was a, conserv it was a reform temple, reform. And I remember that uh, the head, the, the, the rabbi was a woman, she's crying. So I said to her, why are you crying for? I mean, I have an effect on people, but not usually like an onion. She said to me, well, who knows when we'll hear something like this again. People love it. Yiddish is more than a language. It's really, it's not only mama lotion, it's mama's lotion. It's the language that, they, that the six million, most of them spoke. It's their language. You know, uh, unfortunately, um, we think of it, or it's been made to, to every day, it's Hebrew that's the special language, at least among the religious. But the many, the millions that died have made Yiddish a holy language too. It's not just theater. Theater, you know, when you say theater, it's a, I come, I look. I come, I look. I finish looking, I leave. That's not Yiddish theater. I come, I live. I live, I'm with my, my dimension.